Hello, and welcome to Disco Illusion. Um, so I like actually just tried to record this and uh, backed it all up. Um, but I think it's all good now. I'm restarting. So what I was doing is I'm creating a character that I believe is pretty close to me in real life, I think. And, you know, see how I do. <laughs> the Furies. What the f what? The, the Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water is deep enough to drown. That looks sick. And there is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never. Ever. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. This is yes, great, dude. It is. Give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. How about you cough up some more of that sweet, sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passy. Alonzi, let's go. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Barra. Uh, look, there's... I am tired of being this type of animal, and who gives a shit? Not you. Your days of giving a shit and being that type of animal are over. Wait, no, I need to belittle myself. Do time. you really? Don't be naive, of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness until forever ends. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. You can take it. You're a champion. No, I'm not scared. I am a champion. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. And with it, an ungodly headache. Okay, I'm a bit scared now. Let's go back to the dark. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Somehow, you know what it is. A Caprice can name a motor carriage. Open your eyes. Is that going to be there? Oh. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there, uh, but I'm not going to re-record this. <laughs> no, dude. No, fuck it all. Let's interact with it. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Look out. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. Assess the damage. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this More do? likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Wait, what am I doing? Something you've done before. 
Assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me. You mean someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it? This person also forced the drinks on you. I should go and get that shoe. The cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Fish them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. This magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. This reel to reel player is still on rolling empty. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. If it's your friend, why was it up there? Who ties their friend to a ceiling fan? Maybe this thing is dangerous somehow. An ominous, foreboding feeling fills you as you look at the tie. Pull on the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Oh, but... Turn the lights off immediately. You can press the lights oh, are off. Terrific necktie. The necktie is adorned with a garish pattern. It's disturbingly vivid. Somehow, you feel as if you were as if it would be wrong to ever take it off. It's your friend now. You will betray it if you change it for some boring scar. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? Okay. Really? All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror, abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. But what's wrong? Where to even begin? 
There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I'm sorry. Bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. At least my tongue's okay. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. I'm scared. I want to stop doing this. Don't be scared. It's only your face. It's not like anyone's going to see it. <laughs> oh, Behold. Fuck. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Whatever it is, at least it's dead now. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom. You should check yourself for a pulse, Superstar. From here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive for now. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. Have to stop the expression from happening? It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. All right, now we'll let it be for now. Oh, I gotta get that shoe. Smell of sea makes you dizzy. There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet like two baby crocodiles. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. says it's March. The year is 51. Hello, officer. 